It is Friday. We have lots of errands to run. I want to run into Marshalls and look for some stuff. And we need to go to BJ's and really stock up on food. So we're gonna take you along for that. I've got everybody with me today because we're gonna grab some lunch and um, possibly take my daughter to work if we're still out that late. So say hi. I was so excited to see they're putting pumpkin spice stuff out. I'm team pumpkin spice here. Sorry if you're not, but I really enjoy this time of year in the fall and just pumpkin spice makes me feel like it's fall even though it's not outside. Watch it. Okay, I won't. I won't, Mom, I won't. It's looking at you. It's scanning you, Hunter. Watch out. Hold on, buddy. Those are not what it is. Read it. I just take a picture of this. Have it. Yes. Skip, skip, skip to my loop. Mom, Dad, Fabio, hurry up that one. Don't have to get up that one. It's me too. Hello guys, if you are new here, my name is Krista and I am a mom to seven. We homeschool, my oldest is um, 18, graduated and moved out down to my youngest who is one and a half. And so I went to BJ's today. I tried to do this at least once a month, BJ's or Sam's Club and really stock up. I've gone back and forth with how I want my grocery hauls to look and um, when I can get into BJ's, I like to get into BJ's and just really stock up because buying in bulk does save us the most amount of money because as I'm shopping today, it's probably been like three weeks since I've been to BJ's, maybe two. Um, I'm thinking, oh, I still have that. I bought last time I was here. I still have that. But when I go to Walmart or a different grocery store, I'm having to rebuy those things every week. And so it just makes the most sense to me to shop there. Anyway, today's total was $623 and some change. Ah, groceries are expensive. Um, one of the things that racked that up was we spent about $80 in diapers and about $40 in batteries, but still, this does not look like $620 or even four or $500 worth of groceries to me. Anyway, I'm going to show you what we got this week and stick around to the end of this video. I will um, give you a bonus little clothing haul. We did the, um, some shopping at Marshall's this morning 
and got some really cute stuff for a couple of the kids and for myself, mom who never shops for herself. And so stick around to the end of this video for that, but I'm gonna turn this camera around and show you these groceries. And if you hear kids screaming in the background, they are absolutely okay. They're outside playing on their bikes in the driveway and my daughter is watching them while they play so that I can get this filmed and get these groceries put away because they're already getting warm. So I'm gonna start with, we got a huge case of pull-ups and a big case of Huggies. They had $4 off on both of these, a coupon, and so I figured it made it a good enough deal to go ahead and just stock up and not have to buy those things again for a while. We got another bag, a 25 pound bag of sugar to add to our um, containers that we have. What do you call those? Five gallon buckets that I try to keep stocked full of sugar and flour and rice and beans and different things that we eat a lot of. And so I'm in the process of refilling all those things again because everything got low as grocery prices keep skyrocketing. So we're back in the process of filling all that back up. I got a thing of Jimmy Dean sausage. We can make two to three breakfasts of, um, see it's two pounds, so I'm sorry. We would only make two breakfasts out of this with biscuits and gravy, one of our favorite meals. Kids already got into the batteries. I have two different packs. I don't know where the other one is. We got some AAA and some AA. They were also on a coupon. I want to say $2 off, which made them like the same price as the store brand. Um, and so, they already got into the batteries because they got a toy at Marshall's this morning. They were trying to put some batteries in too. Then we got, oh, we have not done spaghetti. Sorry, I'm dropping things. We have not done spaghetti in a while. And so figured this would just be nice to have sitting on the shelf. I think we may have one or two jars of tomato sauce in there. I'm not sure. But for spaghetti, we were out of lemon juice, which you can use to preserve things. The kids like to make just like lemon water, like it's lemonade. With that, we got some plums. They looked pretty good. Let me zoom this out a little, sorry. We got a uh, try by color um, thing of grapes. The kids really like those. I got two 24 packs of eggs because we're still not getting a lot of eggs out of our chickens. And I'm about to look into, I don't know, some kind of different feed or something or could have quit being so darn hot. So we got a pack of organic raisins. A lot of the kids have been liking raisins again lately. I got a thing of their chewy granola bars. Again, they were on um, coupon. There was maybe, I think, $2 off or something like that. Let me work on my lighting real quick, guys. Okay, that's a bit better. It's still a little dark, but at least we can see um, without the sun shining in. And so you're gonna see, camera around, you're gonna see in this grocery haul, I try my best to make most of our meals from scratch. I try to give us the best possible food to eat, the least amount of preservatives, organic, whatever. And then I'm, you know, I'm a very busy mom, homeschool mom. Um, with a lot of kids and a lot of responsibility. And so sometimes I can't do that and I buy some food for convenience. And so we're not on one end of the spectrum or the other, just like with a lot of things in our lives. We're just, we try the best we can, we do the best we can, and then we fill in with convenience for the rest. So that's what you're gonna see here. Be the granola bars. Sometimes we make them homemade. We did this past week, but it's nice to have these on hand when we can't. So same thing with the jelly. I, I don't like this jelly. I like to get it at our local farm store. Don't have time to get in there. Would like to keep my shelves stocked for just in case, never know. So these are like four something a piece for a two pack. So I went ahead and grabbed four of those. We got some of these organic sea salt chips, which look really good. I have a couple of kids that just adore chips and salsa. So we got two packs of those. I got a thing of oranges. We looked through their little um, mandarin oranges did not look good. They were kind of moldy. So we're gonna try these darling Cara Cara oranges out. They look pretty sweet. Yes. Something we never ever buy is cereal. It's been a long time since I bought some cereal, but I could not pass up the pumpkin spice cereal and apple cinnamon has always been my favorite. And um, a couple of mornings this week, I have really wished we had something really simple and quick. Sorry, I had to sneeze. A couple of mornings this week, I was really needing something 
quick and easy and didn't have it. And this um, I will have to hide so they don't eat it in a day or two. Um, but this will be nice when I don't have time to cook breakfast because I do most mornings. I got two different bags of tricolor peppers. We got a couple of English cucumbers, some super greens. I'm going to make some salads this week. Mama's trying to lose some weight, so doing what I can. We got six gallons of milk. We got a couple, pat this is a family size, so it's just several um, rolls of this beef, beef smoked sausage. This is a three pack of the Applegate uncured Sunday bacon. We got a cantaloupe, it's been a favorite around here. A couple, a bunches of bananas that are very green, which we have some up there that are pretty ripe, so we'll eat those first. A head of regular iceberg lettuce. We like these little sausage links. They come in handy for quick breakfast. I get another pack of butter. I got some pumpkin seeds to go on my salads. Last week I made a couple salads and I was thinking, hmm, pumpkin seeds would sound really good in the salad. So I went ahead and picked those up. We picked up another peanut butter. I have one open, one unopened, and I'd like to just kind of start stocking up on that again and staying ahead. This is about three quarters of the way gone, the one I have in the pantry. So I went ahead and picked up another pink Himalayan salt. Um, I got a big thing of animal crackers. The kids have been into animal crackers. So cheap, quick snack. Went ahead and got that. These were, these worked out to be less than a dollar a toothbrush. So I figured that's even cheaper than the Dollar Tree. We need some toothbrushes around here. So I grabbed those. We got some salted mixed nuts. It's cashews, almonds, hazelnuts, and pecans. We got a bag of organic apples, and I had to dig pretty far to find some that looked pretty good. There's the other pack of batteries, the AAAs. These were on a uh, coupon for $2 off also, some bumblebee tuna. It's not the tuna I usually like to buy, but it's nice to have some in the pantry. I got six packs of um, natural ground beef. I know it's not the organic, but... It's better. It's no antibiotics, no added hormones, vegetarian fed, product of the U.S. I don't know. It's probably still not good, but doing what I can here. Somehow our cheese got dirty, so I got some sharp white cheddar cheese. I get two packs of thin sliced chicken breast. I will just split those up and get them in the freezer. I got a big ham. We have not done ham in a while. I thought I'll stick this in the fridge and we can put this in Sunday. It would be nice. And then if we have any leftovers, I will cube it up and make a casserole or I don't know, some kind of pasta dish or something out of it. Another convenience, a big box of waffles. Uh, the kids favorite go, go squeeze. It pains me to pay $15 for 24 little squeezable apple sauces. It is not economically feasible to buy it this way but my kids love these and when we go to Disney it's nice to have little snack packs like this. I got a big five pound bag of chicken nuggets. I got some wild caught Pacific cod. I got these little animals. These are a favorite of my oldest daughter and I. I've got some collard greens to go in our pantry storage. We are always running out of baggies. My daughter loves to um when she cleans up the kitchen after dinner, she puts all the leftovers in gallon baggies, and so we're always out. So I got, this came with two gallon baggie boxes with 52 in each, and then two quart boxes of 50 in each. So that should last us a good while. We were out of Q-tips, and so I just went ahead and got them there. And then I got a case of green beans, and um, I think that's it. So that is it guys for the groceries and I'm gonna quickly get all this put away. I already gave you my total so I don't have to do that. And then I will show you our little Marshalls haul. Okay, so from Marshalls, the kids each got a toy but they've all gotten into them. Somebody had birthday money, somebody had money they saved from mowing the lawn. Um, you know, so they all ended up getting a toy but I'm just gonna show you all the other stuff we got. These were $19.99, but so, so comfortable. I love that Birkenstocks are coming like back in style. I remember this from when I was young. I was probably 13 or 14 when these were really big and in style, but they were so comfy. Um, they had some shoes on clearance. So these were $16 that my four-year-old picked out. They're a little big, but he'll grow into them. Some light up Spider-Man shoes. These we were looking at last time we went to Marshall's and they happened to have them in her size. And today they happen to be on clearance for 13 bucks. So I was so happy to find these for our 
one and a half year old. She'll be so happy to wear these when we go to Disney and she wears her little Disney outfits. And then these socks were on clearance for my middle son, middle-ish son. Yes. I, <laughs> I guess you're not, kid. yeah, but you're not the middle son. Yeah. There's one above you, two below you. Anyway, he's into basketball and basketball shoes and socks. We are missing some brushes around the house, so I grabbed one of these. They were up by the register. And then we're always looking for Disney outfits. They have them there at a really good price um, because we're annual pass holders for Disney. And when we go, I just like to dress us in our Disney attire. So anyway, I found this for our four-year-old. It was a cute little short set and it was only $7.99. I thought that was really cute. This I could not pass up. It was not on sale. It was $16.99, but so stinking cute, I thought. It had the long sleeve shirt with the little stretchy pants with a little mini um, face and bows. And then it also came with a short sleeve shirt that will go with it also. And so that's nice here in Florida because you never know, even if it is cold in the mornings every once in a while, it heats up pretty quick. So it's nice to have a short sleeve option with that outfit. And then she was also in need of some jammies. So mama's bestie, she's definitely a mama's girl. Um, this was $9.99 for two sets of pajamas. So it came with this one with the pants. And then it came with this one in the pants for 10 bucks. I thought that was a really good deal. And then my 11 year old daughter was looking for some shirts to wear, mainly like for church. She has plenty of play shirts. So she found that one, it was really cute. Came with some bracelets, that was $6.99. Then mama never buys herself some clothes and mama is in need of some things that fit. So I found this shirt, $14.99, and it's a really good quality, um, thicker quality shirt. And I just really like the color and it was long. And I was looking for some high waisted pants to cover up all this belly. So I found these um, jeans. They fit very nice. I was really happy with these jeans. And they were $16.99 D jeans. I don't even know that brand. I'm not sure. And then I found these black pants, which were also high-waisted. And they were $14.99. So, good deal. They look nice on. And that was it from Marshalls.